just finished working on two commercials and I spent the last two months working on them and I'm a little bit burned out to be honest. Shooting and editing commercials can be a little bit hectic so I thought maybe it's time for me to do something fun and satisfying in Blender. Hey guys, I'm Shyam from Skull Studios. I have a bunch of animation tutorials in my channel that you can check out like these and I'm planning to upload a lot more cool videos in the future so make sure you hit the subscribe button below and uh, let's hang out. I was watching some really cool satisfying animations on Instagram and YouTube and I ran into some really cool logo type animations and thought maybe I can do something similar which is going to be really fun and uh, also quick disclaimer this is not actually a step-by-step -step tutorial like my other tutorials this is more of an overview on how I made the animation and I'm gonna give myself two days to somehow finish this whole animation because unfortunately time is not a luxury that I have in my life right now which is kind of sad so yeah two days that's it so to start off I'm gonna have to figure out what logo I'm gonna use for the animation which is going to be tricky first I thought of creating a whole new logo for the animation but that's gonna take a while so I decided to go with the Batman logo cuz I'm wearing a Batman t-shirt as well so it makes sense I downloaded the logo uh, PNG file, opened it on Illustrator, image trace to convert the PNG into a vector and saved it as an SVG file which then I can use in Blender to create our logo. Once I import the SVG file to Blender, I'm gonna convert it to a mesh and I'm gonna delete all the duplicate vertices here. Uh, let's keep it clean guys. Now I need to figure out what sort of animation I'm gonna do here. So uh, I started watching more and more tech machinery assembly line kind of videos for me to get an idea on how I can make this uh, transformation happen. Trust me guys, this is the hardest part. It took me one whole day just to come up with the whole idea. So I finally drew two scenarios in and uh, decided which one would be the easiest and the coolest to make with the given time. I only had one day left and I didn't want to mess it up. I thought I'm gonna make the logo in three parts and I'm gonna have the middle section the main section and uh, I'm gonna have I'm gonna have an arm holding that middle section and uh, another arm will come on top and cut out the ears from the main uh, section then I'll have the two wings come from the sides and screw into the logo so that's what I have in mind right now let's see although we have the vector I recreated the logo again because I have to detach it and put it back together right so I created a circle and created two booleans from the sides and uh, cut out a shape like this from the circle and I used two other shapes which uh, I took from the vector logo we imported to cut out the tail and I used another boolean to cut out the ears So in Blender 3.0 so far one of the best features apart from Cycles X of course is the new asset manager which is so cool and I love using it all the time. I'm planning to make a cool tutorial on how it works and how I use it so make sure you subscribe for that. This was a lot harder than I initially thought but I wanted to get this video out somehow. There were so many distractions mainly because it's almost six months since I last uploaded a video and uh, it's tough to stay in one place and finish the project when you know it's not client work. Sometimes it's a lot easier when I'm doing client work because I have to deliver on time and there are deadlines and stuff but when you have to answer to yourself you don't really take yourself seriously. But you have a lot of creative freedom which can also sometimes mess with the time because you always want to do more ambitious and more creative work, right? I anyways managed to somehow sit in one place for a couple of hours and finish the video and hit render. And uh, this is what we have.
So we have the final video. This was actually a really fun experience for me and uh, I loved making this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Let me know in the comments below if you guys want me to do more videos like this in the future and uh, I'm planning to do a step by step video of this as a live stream today in my channel. So make sure you join that and in case you miss, I'll have the link in the video description below and I'm going to be live streaming every Saturday from now on. So make sure you join our discord in the link below and uh, we can party. So make sure you subscribe and uh, see you in the next one. Bye.